So the first passenger has been announced that's going to be traveling on SpaceX's Big Falcon rocket that's going to be going around the moon's orbit. So this is the first time that humans are going to be traveling this closely to the moon since the Apollo missions. I am so stoked for this. This is literally going to make huge human history. Um, I'm super excited. So this passenger is Yusaku Mazawa, and he is a Japanese billionaire. He has about a net worth of $2.9 billion, and he's actually the founder of something known as Zozo Town, which is the biggest online clothing retailer in Japan. Now, Maizawa is 42 years old, and he said the reason he's doing this trip is because he knows how inspiring space is going to be. He said, imagine if like Picasso went to space, or Coco Chanel, or Andy Warhol. Imagine the art that would come out of that. And him, coming from the world of fashion, is going to be looking specifically for that type of inspiration. So he's the one who's actually gonna be the first passenger on this trip, but he's gonna be accompanied by a bunch of different artists because he's doing a project known as Dear Moon. And he wants to try and find a way to tell the story of what is gonna be like. I mean, he's definitely excited for this. He knows there's gonna be a, a big internal evolution that's going to happen after going to the moon. And um, this is just uh, really, really exciting for our, our time and day. I mean, we haven't been to the moon as a human race since the Apollo missions. And this is just going to be monumental. So the Big Falcon rocket, also known as the BFR, is going to launch off of Earth. It's going to loop around Earth and go straight towards the moon. And then it's going to insert uh, the moon's uh, orbit. And then it's going to spend a little bit of time there and then loop back. Originally, there were plans to revisit the moon through the Falcon Heavy rocket, which um, first of all, the first one that actually had a test flight um, was earlier this year. It was really exciting. It's what launched that red Tesla Roadster into space. I'll actually talk about it in this video. And um, originally there was plans for two passengers, which haven't been named yet, um, but it was clear that they're not from Hollywood, um, that they were supposed to actually launch sometime within the next few years. However, SpaceX ended up scratching that idea with the Falcon Heavy, and they're going with the BFR because it is a much larger rocket and definitely more reusable. So it makes a lot more sense right now to be using that rather than the Falcon Heavy. And they're estimating for this flight to be somewhere around 2020. 23, which is right around the corner. So this is an event that you'll definitely want to catch and maybe see it in person if you can. I mean, definitely see it in person. I know I'm going to be there uh, whenever it's going to be announced, but this is a huge step for humanity. And I know that one of SpaceX's main goals is to have humanity become a multi-planetary species. So the BFR is designed not only to bring humans to the moon, but also to Mars. So um, this first launch is going to be the biggest stepping stone in really um, and escalating people getting to, to Mars and then eventually to other planets. Um, so I, this is just really huge because the first step is to get there. And then it's to start to build sort of like a home base that you can then have maybe the moon as like a stepping stone to then get to Mars. So that anytime, you know, you kind of want that like Little little layover, if you want, if you want to say, um, just like as if you're flying and you have a layover in a different city. So um, that's kind of how I look at it, but it's a planetary scale, and um, it's just so cool. Now, for those of you guys that actually watch SpaceX and listen to what they're doing very intently, you know that this isn't all they're working on. They're also working on the Crew Dragon capsule, which is really really exciting. It's going to be bringing um, American astronauts back to the International Space Station, where right now. Uh, we're using the Russian Soyuz capsule, so um, it, I mean, it's cool, like, you know, whatever. Um, but this is really exciting because um, they're working on some new technology and we don't have to go to Russia anymore in order to launch uh, Americans off of American soil. So this is going to be really, really exciting. Um, but you know, the, the crew dragon capsule is a branch off of the dragon capsule, um, which actually had its debut in 2012 when it launched uh, a cargo mission up to the international space station. So let's talk about some details about the BFR. So in 
its final form, it's gonna be about 387 feet tall. That is huge. It's about 40 stories high. And it's actually about the same size as the Saturn V rocket that brought astronauts to the moon in the first place. So this is pretty exciting. It's a cute, fun little coincidence. Well, it's not really coincidence, it's, uh, it's rocket science. And it's gonna be powered by 31 main Raptor engines, which together combined equals about 5,400 tons of thrust. That is insane. And by the way, the Raptor engines is totally in-house SpaceX built, which is really cool because a lot of times with rockets, um, you'll have the launch vehicle and then you'll have the rocket engines coming from two different companies a lot of times and then they'll be combined together under one big umbrella of whoever is kind of like launching the, the satellite that usually will go inside of the rocket. Um, but this is cool because it's all in-house made. So, and then it's gonna be launching a uh, Japanese billionaire. So that's really, really cool. Oh, and then Elon also says that it's going to be able to bring 100 tons of pay payload to Mars. That's like really, really heavy. And so they say also that he's going to need some form of tank or spacecraft um, while it's actually in orbit in order to refuel the rocket because like that's a lot of payload. It's going to burn a lot of fuel because it's so, so heavy. So it's going to need obviously a lot of extra fuel in order to thrust it to get it all the way to Mars. Um, so that's going to need, as I said, a tanker spacecraft, which would be like some type of passing by spacecraft that will, will obviously be carrying all this extra fuel to refuel the rocket. Um, so it, this is something that's being worked out today and, and it's kind of crazy when you think about it because it's like uh, an outer space gas station or some sort. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty much what we're looking to develop. And um, as I mentioned earlier with trying to build um, some form of like home base on the lunar surface, um, it's going to obviously include uh, n like resupplies, uh, recargo, refueling in order to, you know, be able to stop over there from Earth to then go on over to Mars. Um, so it's just, it's so cool. It's like doing like road tripping, but you're going across the solar system. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just, it, like I'm sitting here and I'm just trying to fathom the ex extraordinary um, process that all of this is and how amazing every single part of, of what they spoke about and what Elon spoke about in this webcast. I mean, man, I, I am so jealous of, um, of Yu, Yuzamu, I can't even say his name right, um, of, this, of this Japanese billionaire. I gotta start to learn to say his name right because um, he is gonna be going down in human history because not only is he going to be a human going to space but he's an artist you know like that's he's going as a full-on creative you know it's just oh man I, I just can't wait and then his his project about dear moon that's gonna be so so cool to even like hear about and learn about um and i can't wait to hear about these other artists that will be going um that are gonna be on the mission with him so um, definitely stay tuned, definitely keep listening to SpaceX, and be sure to keep tuning in here because I'm gonna be uploading every single bit of news and information that I get on this subject matter because rockets rock. Okay, that was so cheesy, but rocket behind me. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I hope all of you guys are really excited about this and uh, be sure to leave a comment if you guys are excited. If you wanna go on that mission, leave a comment why you would wanna go on that mission. I definitely would wanna go on the mission because I would want to help change human history. Like I want to try and be part of the evolution of the human race. So why would you guys wanna go? And um, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and um, I will be creating some more videos soon. All right, bye guys.